I don't typically do these sit down chit chat type of videos very often, but there's a lot of rumors circulating around right now about Louis Vuitton new releases, specifically new releases that are being canceled. So I thought this would be a great time to sit down, clear up some rumors and provide you with a few tips to keep in mind when you're consuming information about new releases. Hey there, this is Lula LV. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you're having a really great day. Today we're talking about Louis Vuitton rumors. There have been quite a few rumors circulating on social media lately that certain new releases have been canceled. And I'm talking about this because I recently put out a video on Louis Vuitton releases coming out this summer. It was a men's and women's summer preview video. I did say in that video, it was just a preview only. I did not include prices. I didn't include item IDs. The main purpose of that video was just to provide you with a little bit of an overview of what we can expect over the next few months because there's a lot of really exciting releases coming out. Typically, I do not preview releases that far in advance. Typically what I do is put out a video once a month. I generally try to aim for mid-month so I can show you what's come out the last two weeks and what we can expect to come out in the next two weeks. Generally when something is two weeks in advance of the launch date, we are pretty certain of the price, the item IDs, there's photos. So typically when I do a new release video, it's within a, a few weeks of an item or a collections launch date. Since I put out the summer preview video, there have been a lot of rumors that certain collections have been canceled. From all different sources, I've heard different rumors that the May launch of By the Pool has been canceled. I heard that the new One Handle bag was canceled, and I heard that Academy Denim was canceled. And I started to question all these rumors because that's a lot of cancellations. I was able to confirm that the May launch of By the Pool is still on, it has not been canceled. I have confirmed that the One Handle bag has been canceled, which I find really odd since Louis Vuitton has been pushing their clients towards more high-end leather goods lately. And as for Academy Denim, I've heard from different sources this past week that it has not been canceled and it has been canceled. I'm going to personally take a step back and wait until the launch date for that gets closer. With all those rumors circulating, I thought it would be a great time to sit down and share with you a couple things I've learned over the years following Louis Vuitton new releases that I think are really, really important for us to all keep in mind when we're consuming this information on social media. Please always remember that content creators on social platforms like YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram are not primary sources of information. There are a few exceptions to the rule. One here on YouTube is a creator, Murphy SG. She is currently a client advisor for Louis Vuitton and she has a YouTube channel where she talks about new releases. But when I'm talking about new release previews like a month or more in advance, all of that information, generally speaking, is coming from non-employees. So that means someone who works at Louis Vuitton has to share that information with someone, and then that someone shares the information usually on their social media or privately with friends, and then the information trickles out, it's picked up by different content creators, and then they reshare that information out there. So please keep that in mind. Generally speaking, content creators you follow are not primary sources for this information. And the further and further you get away from the primary source of information, the more likely it is to be inaccurate. I'm, I'm not saying that content creators are purposefully spreading misinformation, but this is the second thing to keep in mind more than I would say two to four weeks before a product or a collection launch, everything is subject to change. The collection or item itself 
could be canceled. It could just not come out at all. The price can change. Anything can change more than I would say two to four weeks before a product launch. And I do see a lot of misinformation out there. So please keep that in mind. If you see a blurry photo like this, that is technically private property of Louis Vuitton. It should not be shared publicly. So any information about a product accompanied by a blurry photo, realize that that is all subject to change. I always share photos that have been shared elsewhere already on social media, and that's how I kind of justify it to myself. But technically, that doesn't make it right. Um, nobody should be resharing that information. So please keep that in mind. And just generally speaking, if a launch date someone gives you is more than two to four weeks out in the future, it is all subject to change. But this isn't to dampen your spirits, to not get excited about future releases, because I get caught up in that both as a client of Louis Vuitton and as a content creator, I get really excited to see new releases and there's definitely a hunger and a thirst out there for this information. But at the same time, I think it's also really nice for us to just spend time appreciating what we have now, what's out in stores now in the permanent collections, in the current season, and even though we get excited about future releases, I personally myself am going to try to focus more on current season releases. What's available now? What can we go out in the store and buy right now, not in three months from now? That's not to say I will never preview new releases months out. There is always a chance I will still do that again in the future. However, I will provide a much better disclaimer in my video. That being said, the next video I'm putting out this Friday, I believe it will be April 21st, will be the April new releases. So we'll get to see what's new at Louis Vuitton this month. I hope you come back and join me for that video. And don't forget to come back every Wednesday and Friday for new videos. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.